We now move to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, the Homeowners Emergency Mortgage Assistance Program with Daryl Rotz, is that right? That's and correct. Robert Bobinchek. In, in the early 1980s, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania was experiencing a severe recession and a sharp downturn in economic activity. As a result of these adverse conditions, the ability of homeowners to make their mortgage payments had deteriorated and resulted in widespread mortgage foreclosures. To address this issue, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania uh, created the Homeowners Emergency Mortgage Assistance Program with the passage of Act 91 of 1983. This program was the first of its kind in the nation and its mission was to prevent widespread mortgage foreclosures caused by circumstances beyond a homeowner's control. The creation of HEMAP resulted in a major change in the foreclosure process in Pennsylvania. Lenders initially opposed the effort and felt the HEMAP program would only serve to slow the foreclosure process and increase their costs. Over time, however, the lending community has recognized the efficient operation of this effort and has embraced the benefits of giving a family a second chance in avoiding a costly sheriff sale. HEMAP utilizes a network of over 80 counseling agencies that prepare the application and provide counseling to applicants. HEMAP is unique in the fact that it can help people from any social economic background. There are no income or home value limits and no equity requirements. Simply, if you are delinquent on your mortgage due to circumstances beyond your control, and you can demonstrate that you can resume your full mortgage payments within a 24-month time period, you could qualify for a HEMAP loan. HEMAP has helped nearly 40,000 families. Without this program, they may have lost their homes and faced uncertain housing circumstances. Besides being a homeless prevention measure, HEMAP is also a bargain. The average federally subsidized apartment unit in Pennsylvania costs around $600 per month. HEMAP, on the other hand, averages about $500 per month in subsidy. A big difference, however, is the fact that HEMAP subsidy is a loan that must be repaid. The average HEMAP loan is $10,000, compared to the average loss on a HUD foreclosure being in the vicinity of $25,000 to $30,000. These figures support, support the fact that HEMAP is a cost-effective way of keeping families in their homes. In addition to keeping these families in their homes, it also provides them the time needed to reestablish their financial well-being. The program affords homeowners the opportunity to pursue job retraining and educational pursuits while receiving assistance. HEMAP provides hope and opportunity to those experiencing financial problems. The program made, has made nearly $400 million in loan disbursements and has received over $224 million in repayments from homeowners who have been assisted. Nearly 50% of those helped have paid back their HEMAP loan in full. This is truly incredible considering the financial problems that were faced by these applicants. Thank you, Daryl. Once again, mortgage foreclosures are topping the headlines, not just in Pennsylvania, but nationwide. Regardless of the cause, whether it be the demise of the steel industry in western Pennsylvania, the demise of the shipbuilding industry in southeastern Pennsylvania, or predatory lending, as we're viewing today, along with the subprime lending markets causing mortgage foreclosures, the effect on the homeowner is the same. It's devastating. The loss of one's home cannot be calculated in dollars. Although there have been many studies that try to tell us that the cost of a foreclosure is X number of dollars. I'd like to just give you some of the things that happen. Uh, the economic costs are, are sometimes put into values of surrounding property values. Uh, in Philadelphia, there was a study that said properties within, seven, uh, within 150 feet are devalued by 7,000 when there's a foreclosure on the, the block. 150 feet in Philadelphia is a whole block, by the way. Uh, in Chicago, there were studies done that uh, ranged from 159,000 to $300,000. Neighborhood crime increases, Municipal municipalities begin to cut back their services, the local economy suffers, children become more disruptive in schools, their grades suffer, families fall apart, divorces happen, people live with families and families are split because they go to different relatives, illness becomes a greater factor, the capabilities of the social systems are stressed, and let's face it, it's not cheap for the lenders either. Uh, when you talk about societal costs, Daryl gave you an example of a HUD foreclosure. Let's just estimate that the total cost was $20,000. And let's just say that HEMAP saved only 10,000 homes in its existence. That would be a savings 
of $200 million. We've saved 40,000 homes, a total societal cost of over $800 million, all for the state investment of $212 million. Pennsylvania is addressing the issue, and HEMAP is changing lives. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> to Carl and Maria. There's so much about this program that I find, and all of what you say about um, the impact of preventing foreclosures being, is so important. But as you noted, the, the nature of what causes foreclosures changes. And it is, has changed dramatically from the basis upon which this program was initially established, that is unemployment, to now increasingly um, predatory lending and subprime um, mortgage, uh, the subprime mortgage crisis. And it doesn't seem as if this program is geared to deal with the problems of today's distressed mortgage mortgagees. And I, I'm wondering um, why it is that H of Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency has not um, been more flexible in addressing uh, the current issues in the home mortgage area. Right. You're right, HEMAP is not designed to address the subprime and predatory lending markets. Um, it is stressed as is, we are always pressed for money. Today in the Pennsylvania legislature was uh, introduced a bill to give the Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency $14 million to create a workout fund for subprime mortgages and create another program similar to HEMAP exactly for that reason, to address the subprime lending market. It will be a workout fund. We'll take the $14 million, leverage it in uh, taxable bonds up to probably about $150 million and use that money to work out the subprime mortgages for people who come to us. And where, and where is that? That's in the legislature now. It was introduced okay. just today, as a matter of fact. And that would be administered by the Housing, Housing Finance, Agency. Finance Agency. I would like to follow up on a couple of areas uh, that committee members have raised. There's some there's some confusion in the committee about uh, about the default rate. I think your paper said it was like 13 and a half percent, but there was elsewhere in the paper the application there it said that there have been some 30, 37,000 loans and about half had been repaid, suggesting a default rate perhaps at 50 percent. So we're trying, to, we're trying to clarify that. that what we've said by um, 50 percent have paid their loans in full. Certainly the other 50 percent are in the process of being repaid. They just haven't paid right. their loan in full yet. So it's just, it's just they're out there. The other ones are simply still active loans. Still active right. loans. And that other percent you had, um, of all the total population that we've helped, there's been about I think it's about 14 percent of those people have actually not only been helped, but then they did end up losing their homes. That's where that 14 yeah. percent comes in. Yeah. So essentially, 86 percent of the people that we helped were able to stay in their homes. See, that's interesting. How much of a loan can they get? Um, up to $60,000 or 24 months of assistance. That's, that seems pretty high. Can they use that then? Can they use that money for anything else other than home housing? Just, uh, well, they don't get the money, first of all. We make the payments to the lender. And, oh, I see. Uh, they never see the money. Oh, no. No, <laughs> no, no, not at all. And we also pay their delinquent taxes if they're delinquent when they come in. Um, but, no, they, they never see the money. We make the payments directly to the lender. Okay, Ellen. So, um, what role might you have in advising this new fund that was set up, that could be set up as a result of the legislation introduced today? Actually, they, I believe that the success of HEMAP is based upon the counseling agencies giving the good advice to the home owners. And in this case, we've already trained our, we have two separate networks of counseling agencies. We have 100 counseling agencies in our pre-buy network who have been trained in predatory lending uh, practices and how to identify that. We're going to go out and talk to them about how to get the work out clients back into us, and I think that the first line of defense is our counseling agencies. Bill? Apparently you turned down a great many more than you actually give loans to, it's like 75 percent, and I'm questioning, is that because of the uh, 
insecurity of the amount of money that's available, or do you, couldn't you maybe set your standards a little higher so that you didn't have to go through the work of reviewing uh, countless applications that were never going to go anywhere? Well, we, I mean, certainly we'd have to change the law to make it a, a little broader, but uh, you know, there's just a, a lot of people have problems that they brought on uh, on their own. And, and then you have some situations where they may have, a, have something ha may have happened, whether it be marital or what have you, where they're not going to be able to get back on their feet within the 24-month time period. So they, they just don't meet the eligibility requirements. As the country searches for ways to uh, deal with trade and job losses on trade, is this a potential part of that answer? Actually, I believe so, because we had been approached by the federal government as uh, to use HEMAP as a format for restructuring the HUD uh, assignment program. We've been talking to them on and off again for the past several years. Uh, believe it or not, what scares them away is the money. Huh. 